Tim with All Mind Big Blue, bringing you the best in New York Giants sports talk and entertainment. Well, the unofficial Giants depth chart has been released. Uh, I was looking at it. You know, it's it's nothing too surprising. They do have Cam Fleming starting at right tackle, Kevin Zeidler at right guard, Gates has evidently won the position at uh, center. And again, like I said, this is the unofficial one. This is on the Giant website. We also have Will Hernandez at left guard and Andrew Thomas, of course, starting at left tackle with uh, Jackson Barton backing him up. Shane Lemieux is back up the left guard, Spencer Pulley at center. Shane Lemieux is also going to back up the right guard. And Matt Pert's going to back up the right tackle. Uh, outside of that, I'm not really seeing any surprises on the offensive side. You got Golden Tate, Darius Slayton, Eli Petty at fullback, um, Daniel Jones, of course, quarterback, Colt McCoy. You know, I'm, I, I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not seeing anything that's making me go, huh. <laughs> so I mean, that's, I guess that's a. I mean, I'm not seeing anything that's making me say, hmm, on the offensive side. I think I should say that. On the defensive side. Uh, you know, the defensive side, I'm looking at... Uh, and, of course, you have Sterling Shepard, Golden Tate, Darius Slayton, backed up by our, our you know, C.J. Board, you know, the guy from Cleveland, and, you know, Evan Ingram, Caden Smith, you know. You know, it's it's nothing it's nothing shocking. Like I said, I, we figured Cam Fleming was going to start the season at right tackle. Uh, Matt Perrett, you know, he, you know, we'll probably see him sometimes in the starting role in the season. Um, because like I said, I don't think Cam Fleming is the answer at the right tackle position for a full season. I mean, I think he's going to be okay, you know, as a back, as a starter for a few weeks. And hopefully Matt can come in and kind of fill the void there. On the defense, though, it makes a little bit, it's a little bit more interesting. Lorenzo Carter evidently is starting over Marcus Golden. Of course, Martin Gold, Marcus Golden is going to see a lot of time. Dexter Lawrence will be listed as a defensive end along with RJ McIntosh. Middle linebackers, of course, going to be Blake Martinez and Tate Crowder. Nose tackle, Dalvin Tomlinson, Austin Johnson. Uh, the will back um, is going to be Devontae Downs and TJ Brunson. And another defense tackle position is going to be Leonard Williams and BJ Hill. Of course, you have O'Shane Zimenez as an outside linebacker, backed up by Kyle Freckle and Cam Brown. And then the secondary, you know, I, secondary I find a little bit interesting because you have James Bradbury. As the left corner, Peppers as a safety, free safety love. And the starting right cornerback is going to be Corey Ballantine. Now with Isaac Yatum backing him up, with Logan Ryan backing up Julian Love at safety. Uh, you know, Darnay Holmes and the, you know, backing up James Bradbury behind him, Brandon Williams and uh, Adrian Colbert. You know, uh, I, I know we're going to see Holmes more on the slot. Um, you know, I could see him also pushing Corey Ballantine for some playing time. I'm not sure. I'm not sold on anything with Isaac Adam yet. I don't know what we're going to look at with him. But, you know, it's it's going to be interesting because we're going to talk in a minute about how the Giants have already said that in reference to the cornerback, they're going to be going with the hot hand, which makes sense. And we're going to get into that for a few, in a few minutes. Um, the specialist is where I kind of raise my eyebrows a little. Not for the punter, not for the holder, not for the long snapper, but punt returner. They have Golden Tate was backed up by Peppers, Sterling Shepard, and Darius Slayton. Yikes. Okay, so we have our starting receiver, our starting safety, another starting receiver, backed up with another starting receiver. That is a recipe for disaster. If we learn nothing from the Jason Seahorn incident in training, I mean, excuse me, during the preseason, is you do not put your starter in the punt return or kickoff return position, especially when you're weak at weak. I'm not going to say they're weak at the position. I'm going to say when you lacked depth at that position. I mean, really, you're going to have Golden Tate, and then you're going to back him up with Peppers, who also who, who didn't finish the season last year who's going to be backed up by Shepard, who didn't finish the season last year. And you're going to back him up with Darius Slayton, who is there, hopefully going to be their new young gun. That That's just that's just a recipe for disaster, man. Same with the kickoff. Kickoff return. You're going to, you're going to trust Darnay Holmes, which I don't have a problem with. But then the guy on the other side of Darnay is going to be Darius Slayton. And then, have, and then the backup for him is going to be Corey Ballantine, backed up by C.J. Board and Deion Lewis. I mean, we have an we have an issue at corner as it is, 
And you're going to take our young fourth round pick and we're going to put him in the kickoff position. And it, normally that would not be an issue and I wouldn't have a problem with that. But like I said, we're we're so quasi thin at and, and and I mean more thin as we, the talent we have outside the starters there's a dearth. There's a drop. You know, outside of Ryan Logan, or excuse me, Logan Ryan, you know, you're going to drop down to Brandon Williams and Adrian Colbert and Isaac Yitam. I don't have a problem with Isaac Yitam, but like I said, he reminds me way too much of Eli Apple. He uses his hands way too much when he when he tries to make up mistakes in coverage, just like Apple used to do. I mean, Apple did that going all the way back to Ohio State. So, I don't know. Like I said, it's, you know, it's not a big deal because it's the unofficial depth chart and changes can be made and things can happen before opening day. Opening day. I think it's like baseball. Before, you know, before we're our first game. But like I said, it's just, you know, my thing is your punt returns going to be Golden Tate, backed up by Peppers, backed up by Shepard, backed up by Slayton. That, that is, uh, that is what I refer to as disaster. Why would you do it? Oh, no. And that's our young guy. <laughs> that's how that's how I would call that in reference to our, um, you know, in reference to the depth chart. One interesting thing I did want to talk about is basically Joe Judge came out and said that the Giants are going to go with a hot hand at cornerback. And you know what? I don't have a problem with that. I mean, you think about it. Judge says right now we're looking to play as many of our players as possible at those positions, keeping them fresh and rotating them. One thing we haven't had yet is a preseason game or a regular season game. So, yeah, obviously, we're going to make sure we use all of our guys, roll them on through, and we'll see who performs the best. Whoever has the hot end, hand is who we may go with. But we're going to make sure we keep rolling them through and building the experience as a group as a whole. You know, that's, that's, that's a great comment. I mean, and I don't disagree with that. Uh, you, you, sometimes you have to ride the hot hand. And sometimes, with the type of roster that we have, th that it may be the only saving grace that we have. Because of the fact that you may, and like I said, you know, Isaac Yaitam may, uh, may have the hot hand for the first three weeks, and then his play might drop off. And then, you know what, Darnay Holmes could pick up the slack then. And Darnay Holmes may be the guy for like six weeks, and he hits the rookie wall, you know, and Brandon Williams comes in and fills, a, you know, fills in for a few games. I like the Giants in reference to the fact that we've talked about this before and we mentioned it many times. They are going to be a defensive situation. So, and I know it's kind of a stupid thing to say because all de defenses are situational. But their rotation of their players is going to be dictated by the situation. We're going to have a different, we may have a different set of guys completely from first and 10 than, than we have from third and five. You know, only because of the fact that we're going to have to play to the strengths of what we have on the roster. Because, you know, what it, it's not it's not a bad thing to say because it's a rebuilding team. But we do not have specific three down talent outside of a few guys on the roster, and we've mentioned this before. And when, you know, if you look at the defense, our three down guys are probably going to be Dexter Lawrence, Blake Martinez, you know, Leonard Williams. And really, James Bradbury, because even Pepper's Love and Ballantine, you know, they're good. They they could potentially have situational disadvantages against some players in the league that Logan Ryan and Darnay Holmes and Isaac Ida may be able to stand up better against. But like I said, it, it just it you know it's it's not a bad thing to say. It just we are a young team. We are a young rebuilding team. I kind of like it because it kind of reminds me of baseball. You know what? That sometimes you go with the guy that's got the hot hand. I, I mean, I remember going way back in the 90s. Uh, uh, St. Louis had a guy named Bo Hart. And I remember Bo Hart because he was a second baseman. And I played second base. And he set the league on fire for like, I don't know, for like two months. And, and the Cardinals smartly... You know, rode that train for as long as they could, and then the wheels fell off the bus, and he never was back in the majors again after a while. But they understood, you know what? Like any other baseball team, you you ride the guy until he craps out. 
And I think that's what, the, and that, that's exactly what Gi- uh, the Joe Judge is saying about the Giants and, and the defensive backfield. We're going to have better situational matchups with some players than we are going to have for other players. So you know what, we have to make sure that you know, you know that each week, each week we may see someone different start. And I think that's, I think there's two, two things I think about that. That's good and bad. It's good because it's going to keep the other team for at least for the first couple series on their toes. It's bad in some regards because if you have young guys, they need to play. And they need and they need to play consistently and the only way they can build up consistency in their play is to constantly be on the field. But like I said, Joe Judge is trying to win games. And you know, so you you, you can't fault him for that, right? But like I said, we kind of just have to wait and see. You know, we got we're going to be doing a couple videos a day, um, just talking about these types of subjects. If there's anything you want us to talk about, you know, shoot me an email at onlinebigblue at gmail dot com, and of course follow us on Twitter at onlinebigblue one on Twitter. Um, we're going to try to figure out some you know some show times and kind of come up with more of a schedule. Uh, of course, we have kids back in school, so that's going to make it more tough because of the fact that honestly. We're going to be doing virtual learning at the house, so that's going to be interesting. So we're going to try to come up with a more set schedule to get that done. And like I said, I hope uh, hope you enjoyed the show today. And like I said, we're going to be doing a lot of shows before Thursday, before we play next week or the following week. So again, this is Tim with Online Big Blue, bringing you the best in New York Giants sports talk and entertainment. And as always, you can like, you can subscribe. That'd be awesome.